Hey everyone, this is David, and I'm going to be uh, showing you this. This is a stopwatch. This is a Sun Founder um, lesson number 14. It's like a uh, stopwatch. And this program was actually a little difficult. I'll tell you what was different about this program from the other Sun Founder examples. So this is the... Um, this is one thing that was interesting is that it included this library, timer1.h. So when I compiled it, it didn't find it. So I had to go out to the web. Um, I Googled up timer1 and Arduino, and it brought me to um, a, uh, a Google page. Here you go. It brought me here. I downloaded this uh, timer1, and it worked. So. I put it in the right uh, directory where the, all the other libraries were. Um, I looked for um, include liquid quit the, uh, the liquid crystal display on H. So I put it in the same folder as all those other libraries. Now the second thing that was kind of interesting about this program is that this there's a lot of um, no biggie, but all the comments here are in Chinese. See, here's another one, and here's another one, and here's another one, here's another one. It was kind of interesting. Here's another one that's in Chinese. So that was kind of interesting too. Um, I never really, uh, you know, looked at code before in Chinese, so that was uh, interesting. So I guess you know it works. I can understand that. You just can't read the comments, or you would have to figure out more Chinese. So. That's uh, something interesting. The third thing is kind of interesting is that uh, this breadboard was kind of tight. Um, oh, another thing was is that there is no uh, uh, fritzing. There was no fritzing diagram. There's no diagram whatsoever in the book well, well, on the CD. So what I did was I had to go to uh, YouTube and look at the Sun Founder video. And I'm going to post a link to that uh, video because... Um, that made it a lot easier. And um, you can see that there's, when you put on these resistors, there's not a lot of real estate on this board to play around with. So that was kind of hard. Because if you, um, because the LCD, like, um, I put it in the wrong spot, and then I think one of the resistors was touching each other, so that the LCD was a little bit off. But now it's working good. It's working good. So I'm using um, to power this project right now is the uh, this, which is the um, SoShine um, battery bank. And you can see that it's drawing about 7 or 8 amps of power. So it's very low power um, that it's using. And uh, let me show you a little bit about the book and some stuff that you'll need to know if you're going to do this type of project. So this is the book. And it says the stopwatch. Once again, there was no diagram, um, diagram or fritzing diagram, which I usually use to uh, work off of this. But you're going to have to know this. Uh, let's see if I can get a good showing of this. There we go. Do you see this? The pin layouts? You're going to have to know that. So when you watch the, the thing, it'll ask you to put it into one of the pins. And you're going to have to, uh, there's five, uh, was it six? There's six pins. So you can find out the which pin is which. And I think it's backwards because when you flip it over, then the pins are the right way. So this is like, like a mirror opposite. So you have to flip it over and you can see where the pins are. So there were a lot of, and this is what the, uh, the diagram looks like. Like I said, there's not a lot of real estate on this board too. You can see how the, uh, how it's set up, it's kind of like hasty, especially these resistors. But we got through the language barrier, we got through the Chinese, we got this thing going. It's almost like a miracle, so it's uh, good. Thanks for watching this video. Um, it does look kind of creepy, like one of those uh, the clock that that kid brought into school. So uh, I don't know what uh, what I'll be using this for, but. It was pretty good. I mean, you can make a voltmeter out of this. 
Um, that would be pretty good if I if I could. Um, you can do a lot of uh, interesting stuff with this. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.